Look out there. What do you see? What is this? People don't really want to be free. The Badlands is a giant mashup of all the things that we love. Martial arts, science fiction, superpowers. It's sort of come together into a very cool drama. It's a class A quest narrative in a futuristic world using martial arts as the weapon of choice. The key thing for us was authentic. As an executive producer on this project, my sort of responsibility with Steven was to bring the martial arts to the show. My goal is to create martial arts that American TV audiences have never seen before. Our martial arts coordinator is Master DD. All the seminal martial arts films in the past 10, 15 years he's worked on. It takes the genius of someone like Master DD to be able to pull that off. We went out to make a martial arts drama, but I think it's become much, much more than that. You really are as good as they say. Alan Miles really envisioned something that had gone down to a very root system. It's torches again and fire, and there's no guns and gunpowder. They've been banned. It's a fantasy world that's familiar. We're so far in the future that it's almost like we're back in the Dark Ages in a way that mirrors feudal Japan. People once thought there's a holy book. The Badlands is run by different barons. The barons control a different resource, and that's what keeps the Badlands in harmony. Our poppy can't be processed without her oil to run the factory. If that is disrupted, then it could all be chaos. We the traitor inside the farm. Quinn, the most powerful baron, found Sonny, raised him, sort of turned him into this killing machine. He's the most feared and celebrated clipper in the Badlands. Quite a sight, isn't it? Everybody's goal is survival. Sonny meets MK, and he's sort of this boy that Sonny can't quite figure out. I need the truth. I don't know what that is. It's very much a mentor relationship. I could train you. That's a bad idea. You've seen what I can do. There must be a way to control it. Having extremely strong women, I think that really sets a show with this level of action apart. The appearance of weakness is the greatest advantage. With Emily and Orla and Sarah and Allie and Madeline, you have all of these great characters. Vale sees something in Sonny that he doesn't even see in himself. Buried under all this ink is a good man. You're wrong. The question for him is, can you escape who you are? Quinn believes the world to be a cruel place, and you have to behave accordingly. Do you want to kill in my name? <laughs> 